Now that conservatives have a comfortable 6-3 majority on the Supreme Court, take a guess as to what is one of the first things that's on the chopping block. Of course, it's Roe v. Wade. And the Supreme Court will indeed be hearing a case about abortion. So as Politico reports, the Supreme Court announced on Monday that it will reconsider the right to an abortion it established almost 50 years ago, agreeing to review Mississippi's ban on the procedure after 15 weeks of pregnancy. The court's decision to take a case directly challenging Roe v. Wade, the landmark 1973 decision that legalized abortion nationwide, suggests that the court's new 6-3 conservative majority is ready to eliminate, or more likely, curtail the right to terminate a pregnancy. In a one-line order, the court said it will review just one question that cuts to the heart of Roe, whether all bans on abortion before a fetus can survive outside the womb are unconstitutional. The Supreme Court will likely hear arguments on the case in the fall, meaning a ruling could come down in summer of 2022, just a few months ahead of midterm elections that will decide party control of the narrowly divided House and Senate. The decision to take the case also sets up a clash between a new presidential administration supportive of abortion rights and red states intent on limiting or banning the procedure outright. Since the Mississippi ban on virtually all abortions after 15 weeks of pregnancy was enacted in 2018, it has been blocked by lower courts that have cited Roe's viability standard. Most medical experts believe viability occurs around 24 weeks of pregnancy. Mississippi was part of a wave of Republican-leaning states that passed bans on abortion early in pregnancy in recent years, knowing they would be rejected by lower courts, but hoping they would provide the Supreme Court with the opportunity to revisit the Roe decision. The addition of Justice Amy Coney Barrett to the Supreme Court last fall expanded the bench's conservative majority, raising expectations that the nation's highest court would curtail abortion access. So what states like Mississippi were doing in passing these laws that they knew were unconstitutional was trying to instigate a challenge to Roe v. Wade because, I mean, the court tipped in their favor. And slowly but surely, it was tipping further and further in their favor. Back in 2018, you know, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, they probably knew that she wasn't necessarily healthy and that Amy Coney Barrett could soon replace her or, or some conservative justice could replace her. So they knew exactly what they were doing and now, predictably, the court is going to be revisiting Roe v. Wade. So the question is, will the Supreme Court actually further curtail the rights granted to women under Roe? And the answer is, most likely. If they don't straight up override the precedent of Roe v. Wade, that will actually be surprising. But at a minimum, I expect them to side with Mississippi here. This is what conservatives have been fighting for for a very long time. It's been a rallying point in elections. So we'll see what happens, but this is a, a very bad sign of what's to come. And for those of you who claim to be pro-life, but are also conspicuously silent when it comes to wars, um, I just want to let you know that this isn't actually going to curtail the number of abortions taking place in the United States. What will happen is abortions will continue, but they will continue illegally and unsafely for women. And as a result, we may see more unsafe abortions kill women as a result. Now, sure, this doesn't mean that abortion will automatically be banned in all 50 states. This just means that states can restrict abortion if it is the case that the Supreme Court does indeed overrule the precedent set by Roe v. Wade. But I mean, let's say hypothetically speaking, they overrule Roe v. Wade. How long until we see like a dozen, two dozen states possibly just outright ban abortion? Probably immediately. Probably immediately. So this is a very, very bad sign. And um, if Democrats aren't serious about packing the Supreme Court or in introducing a constitutional amendment to codify the right to an abortion into law, which isn't going to pass either, then we may just watch disaster unfold. And that's a really scary thought. But this is not necessarily surprising, given the, uh, given the makeup of the Supreme Court.